So divine logic surprises us. It's so countercultural. So then what do we have to do then? God gives so that we can give. What, what, what does this look like practically? What does this look like to give? Luke 9, 23 through 25. Then he said to them, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for, for me will save it. For what good is it for a man to gain the whole world and, let, and yet lose his soul? When we talk about denying ourselves, here's what we're saying. Think of Jesus on the cross or before in the Garden of Gethsemane, contemplating with his disciples the sacrifice he was to give. And he says to God, Lord, if it's possible, take this cup from me, but not my will, but yours be done. That's what deny yourself means. And when the scripture goes on and magnifies and intensifies it by talking about taking up your cross daily, um, in the time of Jesus Christ, if a person was condemned to death, they would have to take one of the two crossbars. The condemned criminal would have to carry it to the point of, of where the execution was to take place. And one commentator, Leon Morris, says, yeah, that person was going to go out, but they were not going to come back. And so when we go out with Jesus Christ to carry your cross is to live all of your life each day for Christ's sake and not your own sake. That's what it means to carry your cross. What does that really look like? What does it mean to die for Jesus? It means to give God everything you have and depend on him for everything you need. I want to tell you that living for Christ is radical. Living for Christ is radical. Give me a second. Luke 21. Jesus is confronting the Pharisees who love money and the wealthy who think they are uh, serving God by giving out of their wealth. And he sees this one woman come up and he makes a point to his disciples. He says this, Luke 21, 1 through 4. And Jesus looked up and he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all of the others. All of these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all that she had to live on. I want to say to you, Christians, what are you holding back that you need to give to God today? And that's your application question. What are you holding back? Are you like the rich young reader, reader Jesus? What can I do to, to enter eternal life? Uh, you know the commandments. Honor your father and mother, right? Do, do good and right. He said, Lord, I've been doing these all my life. And he looks at him and loves him. One, one of the, I think it's Mark says, he looks at him and he loves him. One thing you lack, give everything you have to the poor and you will have riches in heaven and come and follow me. And it says when he thought about his wealth, he, he couldn't leave behind everything to follow Jesus. It, it takes everything. What have you failed to give to Jesus? You have to give everything so that you can live.